addictive. I guess, well, to me, it's the biggest adrenaline rush on the planet. I've done, I've done bungee jumping and uh, I haven't yet done skydiving, but I don't think that will compare to this. The sport of the chase. Well, I'd like to get in on the bird if we can. No, you don't need to be a meteorologist or a photographer to storm chase. Like Jason Menzies came all the way from the UK following his dream to see tornadoes up close and personal. That's what I just said. I said, you got that, didn't you? <laughs> A simple search on the internet for storm chasing tours will net you hundreds of possibilities. But thrill seekers will have to dig deep into their pockets. An average trip will cost two thousand dollars. That'll buy you two weeks on the roads of Tornado Alley. New technology allows anyone with a laptop and a cell phone to get storm tracking information right in their car. But KOCO's chief meteorologist warns that information without proper perspective and knowledge could lead to trouble. I think it really took off in the late 80s and early 90s, and then when the movie Twister came out, you know, bam, then you have every, whether it be research person or just recreational Yahoo, anybody that wants to go out there goes out there, which makes it dangerous. <laughs> But for Menzies, you can't put a price on the rush of seeing a funnel cloud drop right out of the sky. When, when there's a, like a high risk or a moderate risk out and there's a good chance of big tornadoes, my, my adrenaline just goes nuts straight away. I'll be awake all night trying to, trying to think which roads I'm going to take and plotting the routes and everything. And, oh, it's great fun. I love it.